the National Folklore Collection is a repository of Irish tradition and culture. It can trace its origins to the formation of the Irish Folklore Commission in the 1930s. The Commission was a professional body set up to collect folklore. Its team of collectors recorded folklore in a great many parts of Ireland where they were well received. She was born. Really think about folklore and folk tradition. It encompasses really all aspects, all areas of human life. How we celebrate certain times of the year, certain beliefs about the supernatural or religious or spiritual practices, even the games that we play in the school yard as children. Similarly, our material culture, our traditional houses, the clothes that we wear, the foods that we eat, likewise even our song, and music and dance are all comprise part of folk tradition and folklore. The role of the National Folklore Collection is to collect, preserve and make available the oral tradition of Ireland. And within that broader category of preservation, we're seeing an increased focus and emphasis now on the role of digitisation. We have a fine collection of audio which holds fabulous and rare recordings of music, song, storytelling, various lore and local history. We are now beginning to put this material up online. We are digitising it here. So the Zocus project now is great because it has opened all that up for dissemination. It will be preserved and um, accessible to people worldwide. Zocus is a joint project between the National Folklore Collection UCD and the Fiona DCU to digitise the National Folklore Collections and to make them available online. The Zocus project was started in 2013 and since then we've digitised and indexed the entire school's collection, a handwritten folklore collection from the 1930s. This collection, which comprises nearly half a million manuscript pages, is now available through the Dukas website, where it can be browsed and searched. We have a team of researchers here who edit the material before it goes online. And what we do is we add the title to the stories, uh, and then we also add the details with regard to the collectors and their informants. On top of that, uh, we are also fairly active on social media as well, and that's a great way to interact with the public. It's important when we're thinking about folklore to bear in mind that these traditions and customs come from the people themselves. It doesn't just relate to the past or previous, but there's a dynamic energy or force that, that informs our present and who we are today. So it's lovely through digitisation to give the information that we have here, and it's such a valuable store, a new lease of life really, and to give them back to the people, because essentially that's where they came from originally. Oh, so dumb, so dumb.